Okay, so in order that I explain all the things that happen here, is that I need to declare that first of all I am hum human being, then on the other hand I am a woman, and then I had become the printmaker. Uh, when reading Simone de Beauvoir, uh, Second Sex, uh, it just came about something about uh, life synchronicity. Uh, when I read some, of, some parts of the book, uh, I became aware how the identity of man and woman a in a child isn't developed, and uh, the first uh, printmaking, uh, both of them which were made in a colograph, non-toxic printmaking, uh, which is some kind of my specialty, and it is also the synchronicity of it. Uh, it's represented by the hair, which is controlled uh, within the, this Roman-like uh, uh, small king or, uh, or small princess. Like we don't uh, have the identity of this figure yet, because we don't know whether this child will become mm -hmm. uh, man or mm -hmm. woman. It is the part of the book where uh, suddenly we became aware how uh, this uh, hormonal and uh, educational and uh, family uh, contest uh, really in, uh, involves uh, uh, the maturity and the becoming of a woman. On the other hand, I wanted to emphasize another part of this book which uh, is concerning about this, uh, how do you grow up your child. Uh, when uh, she is a little girl, then she is just given the, bo uh, the, the doll and I have uh, given the element of, uh, let's say, auto-portrait, which is completely masked, uh, as a head of a doll. And the doll, uh, which we found on internet as a, let's say, a model for the doll, so that I can draw it and make it uh, within a sand technique, uh, became uh, as a you know, something like without a hand, something which is not uh, available to, to make uh, your life practical, in a practical manner. So I just combined this uh, with this uh, black and uh, red combination within both works because uh, somehow uh, the red is the symbol of life, uh, vitality, but also the blood and the menstrual blood. And this would become to some kind of taboo thing. So. We have these small drops of, of this uh, blood like uh, flowing down or dropping down. Even the crown is completely uh, connected uh, within this iconography. Uh, it, we didn't have much time to do it, so it was really intensified uh, weekend. Uh, and I would like to once again thank uh, the printmaking center to <laughs> make us uh, work out. Uh, on the other hand, uh, what we have here is another another context. Um, in a social meaning, uh, the development of woman uh, had the massive variety within, within the history frame. And uh, what I have done here is, uh, it was completely insane, that I, for, the, for the first time I have tried one uh, uh, process of, of technique within the printmaking. Within the colograph I have put the photo of uh, the falling uh, chess figure which is the queen. Uh, the queen in chess as an uh, intellectual game uh, is a very important figure. When you lose the queen, uh, everything falls down with this, this uh, matching of the game. Uh, that's why I, I have called this uh, the drop of queen because um, first I wanted to check out how this technique works out and it was insane because it was for the first time that I've done such a thing uh, as an accumulation of, of some knowledge uh, a few years ago. And then again, this hair who just, uh, you think that it's a hair, but that on the other hand you have seen, you see the mouth, uh, you see some details which are uh, a bit of uh, erotical uh, provocation mm -hmm. uh, between this mechanical like uh, photo rep reproduction that uh, is, looks like upside down and it's intentionally put like that in the composition. And on the other hand, we have some uh, decorative uh, uh, feeling mm -hmm. of uh, beauty of a woman, uh, which is also the synchronicity within this whole world, because uh, Simone de Beauvoir, uh, what, what has really shocked me in the, in the book, uh, has also, uh, was also uh, 
um, uh, talking about within her book about, uh, let's say, the first marriage night or this, this, this growing up, this, uh, the, the menstrual cycle or, or else. And everything is uh, so connected. So this, uh, these two works are just uh, visually connected it with the hair motif mm -hmm. because the hair is also uh, the female a part which is uh, some kind of uh, control thing. And uh, this is how I managed to do this uh, two compositions. And uh, of course, I would uh, like to work more, but uh, every, yeah, everyone was... else needed the process to be made. So, uh, but uh, in residency, you talk about those topics, uh, how you, you work together with the group, or? Uh... Yeah, we discussed a lot about everything. Uh, and we just, uh, I just wanted to emphasize that this, this whole European project, WOMARTS, has some kind of purpose, which is uh, not only, you know, uh, one way feminist like. It is about the solidarity uh, between uh, men and women, between the, within the society in general. And the other hand, uh, we just saw how many uh, interpretations within the printmaking process can bring out uh, such ideas which are written in the book, which was called once uh, when she was first edited, the book, uh, it was called The Verbal Diarrhea. Can you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. So it is the male interpretation, but I think that yeah, so yeah, it's solidarity, yeah. solidarity mm -hmm. and uh, synchronicity and uh, the harmony needs to be uh, again put in the first first position and uh, we need to restart, reboot uh, everything. Our, <laughs> our beings yeah, yeah. and uh, all persons around us do not come uh, just occasionally, they come with the messages in our lives. So I think printmakings uh, also do the same. The same. <laughs> and Thank other you. works. Thank you. Okay.